That was a rough Central game that we week, watched. Yeah. Forced GH to use this shrine. He was trying to pressure into the river, see if he could actually get through him. He's trying to shove him completely out of the jungle. Make sure this frostbite is impossible. What? Miracle, you can't do that. You can't do that to me. Get and a kill the, against the, the salve on the tower. Oh my yeah. god. He, he would have died to the tower if the salve kicks in. I'll continue to play up in the face of Cloud9. One versus three. C9 hunt him in the jungle, knowing that the Shikuchi was off cooldown, but... Mind control does stay a slight step ahead of him. Bottom lane has to Joe goes down again. Oh, dead? Yeah, looks like it. He's gonna be stunned up, slowed down, turns around, tries to get the kill on Hester Joe. Actually brings it pretty close to death. Field now to follow up here from the golems. GH is brought low, but now they have the stampede and the shallow grave to be able to keep him alive. Noya is low enough, but mind control not really feeling comfortable with the dive here, especially with the corrosive beats on him. Meanwhile, bottom lane, they do manage to get the kill on Hester Joe. Miracle brought himself to around two. 250 HP is still good enough, but is it enough to survive through this? He does still have the hood to be able to turn and fight, but the physical damage is He's there. He's got to stop. He's going to win this 1v1. Oh, double kill for Miracle. That is the one playmaking hero that Cloud9 have, and he just fed a kill to Miracle Centaur. Baby and now he's going to be caught out by surprise with the Blink Dagger. Do they have the burst damage of the Stampede? They've got the kill. He can't even seem to finish off the Veil of Discord. And even then, not sure if they can actually find a kill. Maybe they can. GH going to be caught by the Corrosive Haze and a Crush. But Noya being returned on by Matumba Man. They will manage to throw out the Golem. Stopping the Freezing Field and catching Matu in the process. Slowing him down. Savage Roar back. They desperately need this kill, but they don't have a blink up. Three more seconds. And Matumba Man's running fast enough that they can't seem to get him. Bottom lane. Baby Knight's going to try and put a stop to this tier two. Matumba Man does manage to make the TP out. All three cores beating on this tier three tower. Now, what they don't realize is there is a fresh blink dagger on Noya, and this could be big. This could be the opportunity for a turnaround for Cloud9. They're going to jump onto mind control, see if they can get the control on the hand, but Miracle, what a stomp to put everything on hold. He'll finish off Hester Joe Rotten before any chance of Cloud9 finishing off that kill on mind control. Now it's the tier three being chipped away to death, the slow death for Cloud9, it seems, is... Matumba Man, one by one, is going to be able to hit them down. Ace now gets jumped on by Miracle. Drop low. Sunder does go off. He's immediately going to drop anyway, but Matumba Man is low enough. Maybe not. I thought Baby Knight could actually get that kill, but he still has the Aegis. It's not worth committing. Melee Rax is under assault, and Liquid are a force not yeah. to be stopped at 18 minutes. It is GG o'clock, Cap. There is nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Ace is trying to threaten that tier 1 tower. Liquid will wrap from that high ground. Start attacking Ace. Ace is dropping low here just from the bear and the lightning proxy does have the Sunder. The jump in for Miracle is able to finish him off. Matsu's protected by mind control. The golem is dropped. They're trying to go into Miracle. Back lines. Baby Knight's going to threaten Matumba Man. He does have the corrosive Ace on him. Maybe they can actually get this kill until Kuro intervenes. They get the shallow grave off. Matu may still end up going down, but it's going to cost Cloud9 so much. They're going to lose Noya. They may just end the losing. Has to Joe barely gets out of his ultimate in time that was the last remaining panda has to joe looks like he's just going to be walked on here they do have a stamp stomp coming in from the centaur that will be three down from cloud nine they lost two of their cores a futile effort for Cloud9 to try and contest. They're going to try and jump on a Mind Control Miracle. Immediately responds. Two-man stomp. Shallow Grave is there as well. GH on top of everything else with a freezing field. Ace is trying to target the back line, trying to go for Matu, but Matu's going to kite him around. He's now at a distance that he can turn, fight with the bear, gets the roots. Sunder goes off, trying to finish off Kuro, but the heals are too much to handle. He does finish off the bear, which actually kills Lone Druid the hero. So Baby Knight gets both the 300 gold and the kill for the kill. Has to Joe, though. He's being targeted by Miracle and the amount of magic damage they have. They'll bring him down. Baby Knight can still fight this one out, though. Maybe he can actually get a kill and a support. Three more seconds till the Blink Dagger's up. Mind Control could just finish him off with physical damage. Instead, they wipe Cloud9 again and again and again and finally beat them into submission, dominating this game one. Liquid, 22 to 6 in 22 minutes. If it's Naga Siren Core, I can literally only think of Puck that I feel okay about. Oh, Tiny! We'll put a stop to that. I thought maybe with the Orb of Ace Venom. Ace, he's actually going to be able to get the net. There it is. With the Poof, they should be able to finish off Kuro. And that will be your first blood for Ace. Maybe a second blood. GH does have a tether up. Help me, Miracle. I think it's worth getting a point in snare again. It's like... Toss just up, turn around. Oh, they Ooh. just burst down GH. And now Miracle's in trouble. Noya, he has the, an extra bit of burst damage. He's got the Orb of Venom. Miracle's just hoping for a four-minute rune. Won't get that much. He's going to look for the Roshan tonight, but can't get there. 
Miracle and uh, and GH though, they always have the recovery mechanism. Looks like they're gonna go on Baby Knight again. Last time they actually died because of it, but this time around with level five, they do have the burst damage to actually get that Queen of Pain. We Revenge cannot kill Ace, that's for sure. He'll just turn around on them. Again, looking for Miracle. I do double not know damage about this. on Baby Knight. They think that'll make the difference. They're gonna go for GH in the back lines. Baby Knight turns around, one shots him. He does have Sonic Wave, but the physical damage from Miracle is rapidly threatening him. The toss is coming up. Miracle attempted to go for it with Noya there. Tried to toss him over to the Queen of Pain. Couldn't quite get it, and Baby Knight will survive. He can just get in behind these towers. Like, yeah, maybe here or there he'll get caught out by a dust or run into a sentry and die for it. But bottom lane, they found Vengeance. Found. Possibly mind control as well. Yeah, that track is going to be a big kill. They do have the relocate in. They're going to be able to pop past to Joe despite the mech going down. Now, Noya and Ace may not have the damage together to be able to bring down Miracle, but they could definitely get GH before he can relocate them out. Now, the poo forward. Nice play by Ace. Excellent Meepo control. They want to try and split C9 as up as much as possible and get these occasional pickoffs with an overwhelming amount of damage. But now, Matu may have been caught. He does have the Song of Siren. He's baiting right now. He wants Miracle to be able to come in and get one of these weaker kills. Yet. But Matu, oh no, he doesn't have in time he gets taken out by ace now gh is going to be the next target he has a track on him so he's going to die he needs uh, he's got an IO coming in now yeah yeah, yeah. i know we have the shadow enough. blade damage there we go not a fan of uh baby knight's build this game oh misses the avalanche a little bit but can they still go on ace they've got him low no he just lost the ages to swap into the stun nice play from kuro getting the distance needed for the disable afraid of maybe the sonic wave as queen of pain has come in and tried to go for miracle with the orchid onto kuro but now that silence is gone he's gonna be able to hit the stun followed up by the ensnare can matu do this sonic wave will finish off kuro but matu gets a bigger kill in that queen of pain matumba man will get out just a bit gh is gonna be spotted out here shuriken onto miracle Miracle. There goes an avalanche. Sonic Wave doesn't actually catch him, but the black hole will. Now the swap. Stops a black hole. Looking for the relocate out, but that one's immediately stopped by a Malphys. Excellent play there from Hesed Joe. Now they've caught Kuro as well. They get the two supports. Cloud9 were able to push. If they were going to give up that Rax. Oh, Liquid. They try and jump forward, but now Miracle gets turned around by the Scythe of Ice. Here comes that big burst damage. Kuro bails him out. Once again, with the swap. Mind Control going for one of the meeples in the back lines. Can't lock him down. Pops a time lapse, but he's immediately ensnared up, and there's no saving hero now. Miracle comes in, tries to finish off Ace. They can't save Mind Control, but they will get Ace, and they'll get Noya as well. He gets the Invis off, but an Avalanche will cover him. Tiny beats down the Tier 2 Tower. They get a small initiation on him. Force him back as Ace now revives. They get the track onto him. Maybe they can actually catch Miracle. C9 is looking for Matu, though. They know that's an important hero. The BKB oh, activated. Oh, oh, oh. oh, no, it turns against him. Now, Miracle just beats him to a pulp. They get the stun onto Rise in the back lines. Noya, as well as Ace, are covered up in swarm bugs. Ace gets off a poof and gets a lot of damage onto Matu. I think he expected Matu to try and get out, but now Matu's covered up in the black hole. They've caught mind control as well. Ace has actually turned this fight properly. Gets out with a lower health Meepo, while the rest of the Meepo take down Miracle. GH, who used the relocate earlier in trying to help out with a black hole, is going to be sent right back from whence he came. Mind Control. Is luckily still available as well. He might be able to get a little damage on the tier 3s while all this is happening, but Ace is going to quickly eat up this melee racks, and the Tiny is just not going to be up fast enough to save that building, but maybe they can still catch something. Kuro's getting in position to be throw out the swap. Gets the stun onto Ace, but Ethereal Blade from one of the other Meeples helps saves and poofs backwards. BKBs on both Hester Joe and Baby Knight. Hester Joe's going to be the one caught in the ensnare. Miracle, he knows he needs more. They've lost two melee Raxes. They can't afford to leave out this fight without multiple kills. They've got a double kill onto one. They took out Hester Joe. Pushes straight for the range, thinking that they can just get this ranged Rax and maybe out. GH will cover him, potentially with a relocate, or Matumba Man with the song. Miracle still needs a little bit of help, though. He is going to lose that Aegis, and they've actually oh, just TP'd standing. out with multiple heroes. Both the saving heroes are now gone, and Miracle is going to have to try and find his own way out of this one. Gets a Blink out, has Shadow Blade or Blink Dagger up in five more seconds, but Baby Knight... Does he juke this one out? No, he tries to hide in the trees, gets the stun onto Baby Knight, buys himself a little bit more time for the blink. He gets up, Baby Knight blinks to the wrong side, he drew left, and Miracle, he's hiding a little bit farther up in the trees. He has a TP in his backpack. They, they can hear, they're thinking they can get the quick melee racks, but all they're gonna do is force the glyph. They're gonna TP out on Matsu. They do have the track onto the tiny. They also get a lot of damage onto the tier three at the same time. They are gonna be able to get at least Matsu there. They're melee Rax almost goes down. Venge is trying to suicide for it. And yeah, they get it. Weaver. Meanwhile, Tiny's back in bottom. All right, they're just going to try and force Megas here with the death on the Naga Siren. They're going to be able to get the range racks at bottom. Miracle's already taken out one and two. There goes Megas. 
Liquid and a swift maneuver despite losing Matumpa Man are going to be able to force Megas here. Except for, oh shit, there's a melee rack still. Know. And they've caught GH in the bottom. Turned, Miracle fighting up against a nice use of the Ethereal Blade, able to save the Meepo that's low HP. Miracle now tries to hit a different Meepo, goes for another one, he needs a little bit more, he gets it in the end. Miracle is tanking enough, a buyback onto GH to help out Miracle here with the Scythe of Ice going in. They have a relocate back, but he needs Good five more GH. seconds. They're going to try and kill Miracle first. Oh, they're trying to burst him down, couple more seconds, GH gets him out. They couldn't go. They tried to go for Miracle first. They thought they yeah. could actually burst him down instead of going GH. Entrance here, but it looks like they're going to bounce out here and try and get mind control on the side here. Noya's been spotting him out. Baby Knight may have the burst damage, or maybe not. They're actually going into the mid lane. They've got that melee Rax. Ace is trying to finish him off, but Miracle already gets the four staff away. And now mind control is actually turning against Baby Knight. Baby Knight tries to get the blink out. BKB activated will keep him alive, but Liquid, they've already done the damage needed. Rise, a Glibber Cape, surprisingly enough, is actually keeping him alive, but he finally does get scouted out. Now Kuro is going to be threatened here. Has to Joe moving forward. Baby Knight actually blinking up. They're trying to make this work, but now Tiny's jumped onto Ace in the bottom lane, but he's actually getting turned around on. Bounces away. Ace is going to send all of his Meepos up to the farther top lane, while the rest of C9 have to back away from that mid engagement. Now Liquid back away from bottom. Managed to blink out from Kuro ahead of that Shadow Strike while going in deep as Mind Control picks up the kill onto Noya, allowing Miracle a slim bit of time to hit on that tier. Four tower. Bit of damage done as he bounces back with another blink dagger. Now Liquid. Wolves closing in on all sides against Cloud9 members. As to Joe. Goes for the BKB. Attempt to blink out, but can't actually get anything here with the swarm on him. This is going to be a BKB wasted. He does have the refresher to use. As well as that first black hole, Baby Knight attempts to get a hold onto Miracle. Once again, a blink out, no holds. All the blink daggers remaining up. Mega Creep streaming in, and Tier 4 is under duress. Has to Joe, hoping to be able to tank most of this up. Kuro takes his opportunity to jump on him, forcing that Aegis down, and they do get the pop onto GH God. But now Liquid have used the Song of Siren, holding things as, a, as in. Cloud9 have to deal with the Mega Creeps first, while Liquid try and recover. Baby Knight almost dies to Megas. Now Hester Joe's going to be jumped on by Miracle. Managed to burst him down. Buyback is up and he still has those black holes ready to go. The Scythe of Ice in, but one of Ace's uh, Meeples are actually quite low. He has to get away from these Megas. They're too much of a threat. Baby Knight doesn't have the level 25, so the Blade Mail isn't going to save him. The black hole comes in, but is it too late? He gets a refresher. The swap off. He needs another big black hole, but he can't quite get it. Batu trapped on the right hand side. Slowed down. Here comes an avalanche and another black hole, but it catches nothing but Megas. Ace, he's battling up against Batu and Miracle. He's He's actually getting the damage done. He's killed Matu. He's killed Miracle. Somehow Cloud9 with a one man, two black holes have only managed to kill two cores. Kuro's been sitting in the trees this whole entire time, but Cloud9 say enough is enough. They're gonna force it. And here comes the relocate. Liquid are just gonna try and dance around them. They go straight for the tier fours. Mind Control easily has enough damage to be able to beat down these tier fours rather quickly and go for the throne. Hester Joe is left alone against this to try and put a stop to all of this, but it's just not gonna happen. A glyph goes down. Song of Siren on the other side. So Cloud9 aren't getting any damage done to the buildings. Mass TP's back. Mind Control's gonna try and finish this up with the help of Miracle and the BKB. Gleam Liquid finally do it. They finally close out this game two against Cloud9 and Ultimate Rat Affair. They get it done in true fashion. Alliance would be proud. Whew.